Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way down to Dark Root Basin. But before we do... I did farm up about 2,550,000 souls, and we want to level up really quick before we do anything. You don't have to get this many souls if you don't want to. I did because I wanted to get 40 across the board in vitality, endurance, strength, and dexterity. All right. Let's go ahead and warp to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody there. Let's talk to Sigmire real quick. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gates, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate. This Knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> we can notice crest falling and crest fallen is gone we'll find him probably in the next video let's go down here and we're going to revive the firekeeper let's go ahead and get a little bit of dialogue from her thank you I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please. If you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. Let's go ahead and reinforce our Estus flask. Now we have it plus three. Then we're going to go ahead and talk to Griggs and Big Hat Logan. Oh, hello again. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned, and he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. Hello there. I was expecting you. As promised, I will share my sorceries. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn sorcery. The basic framework, you see, it cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head high. All right, let's go talk to Framp, the king seeker. Also, Laurentius is gone as well. We'll see him later. Not in this episode, but in another one. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still.
This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Let's go ahead and go back to King Seeker Framp. Talk to him again. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith. The four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the Undead Parish. We'll use this bonfire right here. I'll see everybody there in just a moment. Let's talk to Andre real quick. Give him our Black Ember. Show me that ember of yours. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. Yes. Well, thank you. This ember really is something special. I'm already under its spell. I sense great potential indeed. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. Let's make our way down to Darkroot Basin. Just follow it on down. We're going to go to the bonfire at the bottom here. And we're going to kindle it. That way, just in case we die, we have 10 Estes to start back with instead of 5.
go ahead and kindle it. Now, before we fight the Hydra, make sure that you have your rusted iron ring on. Also, make sure that you do not take off the ring of favor and protection. If you take it off, it's going to break. I'm sure I mentioned this. If not, I'm sorry. But please don't take this ring off unless you really don't want it. And I don't see why you wouldn't want it. It ups your carry load your stamina and your health which is always a plus on all three now the hydra is gonna shoot out some water projectiles try not to get hit by them they do hurt probably not as much as they normally do just because we are a pretty high level at this point Take out these crystal golems here. I was going to call them blue golems, but I don't know. They're crystal golems. They are blue. Try to use the trees as cover as well so that the projectiles don't hit you. We're going to come up here and grab this item. Just a large soul of a nameless soldier. I'm just going to try to stand behind the trees as much as I can. is not really working out too well. Careful. Hold your shield out. Let the Hydra attack. I like to stand right here where this body is because there is a ledge that you can fall off of which will not be too fun if you do fall off of it. Keep holding your shield out. Let the Hydra attack. Once it's attacked, go ahead and chop off a head. I was hoping to get that one. It's too far away. Barely got that head. And then for the last one, I usually bring my bow out and just start shooting the Hydra. It's pretty difficult to get that last head. If you can get it, it makes things a little easier and faster, but just bring out my bow. Alright, killed the Hydra. We get a dragon scale and the dust crown ring. So if you don't have your rusted iron ring on, you're going to walk very slow through this water. It's going to be a lot more difficult to beat the hydra. So be sure to have that on. Over here by the waterfall, there's a ladder. It's pretty long. We're going to climb up it. Also, I want to say sorry for the scratchy voice. I am still trying to get over this cold. Uh, it's been like two weeks now that I've had a cold and it absolutely sucks. So hopefully my voice will be back to normal sooner than later. If not, um, well, then I guess I'm going to have a scratchy voice for the rest of my life. Or not. I don't know. Be careful right here. It's easy to fall off. Right there at that ledge. Just try to take it slowly. Grab another soul item. 
And then we're going to climb this ladder up here. If we take that way up there, that's going to take us to the front portion of Dark Root Garden. We don't want to do that. We're actually going to take the back half first, and then we'll make our way up to the front portion. We're going to have to beat three cats over here. Be careful. They hit pretty hard. Uh, they're not difficult. I like to lure them into the trees. Then we're going to have two more jump down. This is where things get a little tricky. If they're attacking you at the same time, be very careful. It can cause a death very easily. See if we can't get their attention. He's going to do a roll, isn't he? Nope. Guess not. That one is though. Like I said, try not to get attacked at the same time. Let's go back. I'm being very reckless. There's one. They run away to that corner, which is good if you need them to back off and heal. And there you go. They don't respawn, so you don't have to worry about them anymore. Let's pick up a large soul of a brave warrior. And then we're going to follow the cliff edge here. Be careful not to fall off right here. I've done it a few times. I will admit that I have done it a few times. Now we're going to beat one of the sadder bosses. Unfortunately, we have to kill this boss to progress the game. This is going to be Sif, the Great Grey Wolf. Guarding his master, Artorius's grave. There is an alternate cutscene if you do the DLC first and then come here after. But we're not going to do that. immediately dodge because <laughs> he comes out the gate swinging quite literally try to stay underneath him do not lock onto him it just makes fighting him a little harder he's not really that hard of a boss As long as you don't take a hit like that. Oh my goodness. I'm playing like poo poo. Of 
or Sif. We get the Covenant of Oratorius that will let us uh, walk the Abyss. We also get the Soul of Sif, a Humanity, and a Homeward Bone. Normally that fight goes a little better, but my dodges were not on point. Right here we can get the Hornet Ring. I'm just going to blame it on I was a little rusty. But my main advice is just stay underneath Sif. He will like jump away, obviously. But whenever he comes charging at you, just kind of dodge to where you're dodging forward. And then get underneath him. Get a couple hits. And rinse and repeat. Up top here, we're going to kill two big mushroom boys. And get ourselves another ember. Uh, my advice is fight them one at a time and don't get hit. If you think the Hydra's water jets hurt whenever they hit you, these guys, when they punch you, they hurt. They hurt bad. Get some gold pine resin. From what I see, they drop gold pine resin every single time. Just kind of take your time with these guys. Don't rush it. Let's open this treasure chest. This is going to be another ember. We're going to run to the right here. Go behind this structure to get the stone set armor. Or the stone armor set. I don't know why I said it that way. Alvina is up in that window. We will talk to her in a little bit. For now, we're going to sneak up behind this guy. We're going to get a backstab. Take him out. Be careful. We do have a cleric coming after us. But he's not hard. Really easy. Be really careful, we have a thief class guy over here. He can make you bleed because he's got a dagger and he likes to roll a lot. You can always hit circle for a back step and then R1. That'll do a forward spin. Usually helps. We're going to sneak up behind this sorcerer here. We do have a knight to our right. Take out the sorcerer first. The knight's going to roll up on us. Dodge. Take out the sorcerer. The knight's not, a, not hard. There we go. Let's get a heal. We have one more knight to take out and then a archer. The archer is the only um, enemy that's going to drop um, something for us. That's the forest hunters. Sorry, I'm trying to find the knight here. There he is. He's invisible, so he's a little hard to see sometimes. Actually, most of the time. Get a backstab. Be careful. Archer's gonna shoot you. Let's 
just get a heal real quick. There we go. So we get twin humanities, we get a black bow of Ferris, and the Ferris hat. We're going to go towards this item off in the distance here. Be careful, we do have some of the bushes guys, whatever they're called. I don't know what to call them. Bush head guys. Be careful, they're all around over here. Just keep making your way towards the item. Let's go ahead and pick up the Eastern set or the Eastern armor set. Then we're going to turn back around and just backtrack where we came from. By the way, the path from the beginning where we climbed that long ladder, it would have taken us up here. So if you wanted to come up this way and then take everybody out, I just find it easier to take everybody out the back way. Then you don't have everybody coming at you all at once. You can take them on uh, one at a time. Let's go ahead and talk to Alvina. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Well, indeed, thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. And here taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir, I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will by their honor work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own family. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double-cross. Have no doubt. Such wretchedness never will we tolerate this is a pvp clan that you can join or covenant um if you're on playing online you'll summon into somebody else's world that comes through here you'll kill them and you'll get humanity and all that good stuff so it's just a pvp covenant the only reason i joined it is because there's going to be some extra dialogue from shiva a little later let's go ahead and talk to him now I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East. 
captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules, you hear? Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way we do it. Only, don't what Arvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. Shiva's got a companion with him, but the companion doesn't speak. That's all that happens. Let's go ahead and use our homeward bone. I'll see everybody back at the bonfire that we last rested at. Let's go and go fight a golden crystal golem. Shouldn't be too hard. Nothing should be too hard at this point. And especially once we max out our, max out our weapon. We're going to be extremely strong. Our hits are going to hit hard. Real hard. This guy kind of always falls down. I don't know. His AI is pretty stupid. They do have a chance to drop blue titanite chunks. It's a little easier to farm them when you have the gold covetous serpent ring. We're not going to need the blue titanite chunks because, well, we're not making magical weapons. And that's what they're used for. Let's go ahead and save Dusk from Ulysseel. Again, my advice, because it's kind of hard to see the ledge in the water just because of the, the glare on it and it's kind of murky. Always stray to the left side. Then I don't have to worry about falling off. There's the gold golem right there. Let's go ahead and talk to Dusk. So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseus. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseus, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature, if thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature, it seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. We're going to go over to her summon sign real quick, and we're going to summon her in. I just want to get her gesture, and I want to get a little bit of dialogue from her. I'm not going to bother with buying any of her magic, um, I think they're, I don't want to say they're sorceries, I think they're faith um, spells, but I don't need any of those because I don't really have faith and I'm not really into sorceries. So let's go ahead and summon her in real quick over here. I am Dusk of Ulysseus. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. Learn her gesture. And then we're going to get a little bit of dialogue from her. 
For a very long time, I was trapped within the crystal golem. From my home I was taken, and banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue, long after I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I, my faith reneweth. The sorceries of Ulysil differ from the magic of thine age. It is difficult to explain. Ulysil's sorceries are, what doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. Thine sorceries are more straightforward, negating all but thyself. Dost thou not find some fascination in these discrepancies? If thou art in need, pray summon me again. I wish to be of assistance. May the flames guide thee. Okay, real quick, I'm going to go and fast travel back to Firelink Shrine. So I'm going to use a Homeward Bone to go back to the uh, bonfire. And then from there, fast travel to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody back at Firelink Shrine. Alright everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, enjoy content just like this. Be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.